Hey guys, Brian Holder here, Brian Holder Graphic Design, coming at you with another WYSIWYG Web Builder 8 tutorial. And what I'm going to show you today is how to have a Twitter feed in the footer of your site, or basically anywhere you want it to show. Uh, so here's what it looks like on my website. Uh, I have a little Twitter feed right down here in the bottom corner. And I'm going to try something cool here. I don't know if this will... Oh, wait. Yeah, I can't remember how to do it. Trying to zoom in on this on this little area with the with the screen capture here, but I'm using this new uh, Windows 8 PC. I'm still trying to figure this out. Believe it or not, I actually had to Google how to shut the goddamn thing down. I couldn't figure it out. So annoying. So at any rate, uh, I'm going to show you how to put that in real quick. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, basically, it's pretty simple. What I'm using here is the newsfeed ticker. And um, I, what I don't know is this may be an extension. I'm not exactly certain. Um, if if you don't see it in your uh, in your advanced tab here or anywhere in your toolbox, then it probably was an extension that I downloaded. Um, so to use an extension, uh, for those who are not familiar with this. Um, Hold on a second. I'm trying to shrink this toolbox. Okay, here we go. So to use an extension, for those who are not uh, familiar with this, you want to go to Tools and Extension Manager. And here's a little disclaimer. Extensions are made as available extras, blah, blah, blah. They're not made by Pablo for the most part. They're all made by third parties. So uh, this is a list of all the extensions that I have installed. So by default, it shows you what your installed extensions are and if you uh, click on online gallery it'll tell you if you want to receive the, the most recent list you need to be connected to the internet for that and we're waiting for that to download oh it takes forever come on I got the slowest internet here I'm sorry about this all right, uh, so it looks like I'm not getting it, but that's fine because that doesn't really matter. This is a tutorial about this. So at any rate, we're using the news ticker feeder. And so once you drag that out, you're going to have a few options. In your data source, you can use an RSS feed. You can import Flickr photos if you have a Flickr account, a MySpace blog. Um, odds are you don't have a MySpace blog. I don't think anybody does. Uh, and, and you can also import your Twitter feed. So I choose Twitter. And it's really as simple as just uh, setting a few uh, defaults here. So you can have a, a continuous scroll. So it, it scrolls kind of like uh, the credits at the end of a movie. Uh, a slideshow, which is what I use. Uh, so it shows you one thing, then another thing, then another thing. Uh, you can paginate it so that way it shows something and has little buttons at the bottom. You can kind of scroll through different pages. Or you can have like a news ticker type, uh, type scenario. So I always choose slideshow. I like that the best. Uh, you can choose how many tweets to dis display at one time uh, for it to load in. I choose five because most people aren't going to even read one. How long do you want that tweet to uh, appear for? So I let it appear for eight seconds. You can choose what direction or how it uh, how it transitions. So, um, yeah, I usually use a fade, but for this I use slide down. I like that the most. How long that transition takes. Okay, now. This is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool feature. You can have it display the, your tweets from your account, or you can have a feed that displays like a hashtag. So if you do a search query of all accounts, you can you can put in like a hashtag there and it'll display anything that's that's coming through that hashtag. That's pretty cool. And then you have some style options. You go to the style tab and you can choose how it appears. So I have it set up to appear in my footer. So I'm using my uh, Rawway font, which is my Google Web font that I installed. Uh, and I have, you know, certain size and certain color I'm using down in the footer. Um, and that's it. It's a pretty simple, uh, pretty simple little uh, little tool. And you can use it for a lot of things besides Twitter. Like I said, you can import uh, Flickr photos, which once I start doing um, my portfolio, once I, get, I have a portfolio, but I just haven't got a chance to put it into my WYSIWYG site yet. Um, there's a very good chance that I may consider just just importing Flickr photos instead of trying to upload them to the site. Um, I think that'll help out a lot with A, my bandwidth, B, my, my file storage on my site. I don't have to eat up as much space. 
Um, so I'll, if I do that, I'll, I'll do a, uh, a tutorial on, on using Flickr photos uh, and import Flickr photos into your pages. So this was that tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Makes me want to do more of these for you. And please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. You'll get uh, notifications every time I publish a new one. And I will catch you on the next episode. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.